Hello, my name is Paul Suzuki from Xena Utilities, and today I will be demonstrating Xena XER, also known as Xena Professional. Xena XER is a tool that complements Primavera P6. Uh, some of the problems that Xena solves are it eliminates unwanted or could eliminate unwanted and duplicate codes and values. It can help you combine data from different databases into a common or reporting database. It can help you transition to a new database structure. And it can also remove sensitive and confidential data, such as costs and expenses, before the XCR file is distributed. And I'll log into Xena at this time, and the default login is admin, admin. And here's the main screen. I'm going to click on Utilities and I'm going to import a file. Right now we're listing the templates that are currently in my Xena database. I have two templates. And you would have a template for each XCR source. Uh, for example, if you have two subcontractors sending, in you, sending XCR files into you, you would want an a template for each one of those XCR files because you want different rules applied to each one. I'm going to add a new template and I'll call it Demo1. Next I'm going to select the import file. We call it the original XCR file and I'll browse out to a folder and select that XCR file. Next I'm going to either select or enter a revised XCR file and the revised XCR file is the export file. That export file will eventually be loaded into P6. And I'm just going to do a copy of that first file name and I'm going to rename it slightly. And at this time I'm going to import the file. Right now, as the file is being imported, Xena is looking to see if this file has been imported before. And if it has been imported before, it's looking for any changes in that XCR file. It finished importing. It imported almost 6,000 records. And now I can look at the structure of that XCR file. And I'm going to look at activity codes. This screen is very similar to the other screens that I'll be showing you in a moment. And on the left hand side of the screen, we have the original XCR values. Those are the values that were read in from the XCR file. On the right hand side of the screen, we have the revised XCR values. And those are the values that are going to be written out to the revised file, which will eventually be loaded back into P6. And I'll just look at the first row at this time. Uh, we have an activity code of compass entry age and if I make no change to this and that's an action of no change it would be exported as is but let's say I wanted to change this first activity code to something a little different and I'm going to prefix it or I should say postfix it with my initials PGC as soon as I made that change in this column for this particular record, you'll notice that the action changed from don't change to change. So basically we're saying this value will be changed to this value. In addition, we can change the scope of an activity code. For example, I could change this event delay from a global to a, a project-based activity code select project and next I would select a project name. In this case the XCR file only had one project in it so it defaulted to that project name. However I could have clicked this button on the right hand side of this import box and it would have listed out all the projects in this XCR file and I could have selected another project. I could also remove activity codes before they get put in before the revised file is created and I could do that by s moving to the action and instead of saying don't change or change I could say delete and when I move off of that 
you'll notice that the new activity code is cleared. I'll just go over some of these other buttons on this screen. The button to the right of this activity code will list out any activity code values for that activity code. The button to the right of the project will list out any projects which I showed which I just showed a few moments ago. And this last button to the right of the new activity code will list out authorized activity codes. And I'll just click on one and show you what I'm talking about. Here we have a list of authorized activity codes that were that was set up by a Primavera administrator. And this allows us to uh, select from a predefined list. For example, I could select G3 quality check and that would be populated on this row. This last column will list the, any changes from the previous import. For example, if I, ha if I had been importing this file on a regular basis and there were new activity codes in this file, it would have had a status of new and if one of these activity codes that I previously imported is now missing it would say missing over here so it's a way for the user to determine if there's any new codes coming in or if there's any missing codes and this concept of the original on the left being changed to revised on the right is the same concept used on all these tabs and I'll just scan through them project codes here's the original Here's the action that will apply to this project code, and here's the revised value. Same thing with resource codes, calendars, UDFs, units of measure. And units of measure has a unique feature in it in the sense that it can determine or it flags all the units of measure that are in this particular XCR file and it will flag all the ones, all the units of measure that aren't being used in this XCR file and it will create a delete action. Sort resources and notebooks. So that's the general idea of Xena. In addition to changing individual activity codes or project codes, I can do group changes as well. Now right now, you'll notice that I have a few changes here. Uh, this one has a prefix of PGC. I changed the scope on this item and I deleted another item. Every, um, I could change every item that has a don't change and prefix it with a certain value. And I do that by going to the general tab, using the prefix grouping here, and I could prefix all my activity codes that haven't been changed so far and I could prefix them with SC1- and I, I need to do another import to apply that prefix so I'll do import and as it's importing it's applying those prefixes to those activity codes however I could have applied that prefix to project codes to calendars to resources as well And when it's complete, I'll go back and look at the activity codes. And you'll notice that all the activity codes that were not changed before are now changed, and they have a prefix of SC1 dash. Next, besides manipulating the activity codes and project codes, we can also remove information out of the XCR file. Sensitive information such as costs or expenses. We do that by using this this grouping over here and we could remove uh, activity progress, activity steps, uh, we could remove the costs and we could remove expenses and we can remove other costs too and underneath these with the plus there are subsections so I could have just removed resource rates and on expenses I could have just removed planned expenses so this gives the the person or the group building the XCR file 
the ability to remove that sensitive information before that XER file is then given to one of their partner companies. Also, we have the ability to change uh, the version of the XER file. The original was a 7.0. I could change that to 6.2.1. And I'm going to save these uh, changes at this time. As you can see, I have a new template called Demo1. That's the one I just created. Uh, I could add a new template at this time. I could use one of these existing templates. I can copy an existing template to a new template and I could delete a template. Right now I'm just going to use this demo one again and I'm going to process and process is the step of reading in that XER file applying any changes that we entered such as prefixing those activity codes with SC1 and, and we're also creating that revised XER file once that revised XER file is complete, it can be imported into P6 using P6's standard import feature. And that's the general idea of Xena XER. I also just wanted to mention a couple other things. Since Xena XER works with the uh, XER files, it doesn't matter if the XER file was created from P6 with an Oracle database or P6 with a SQL Server database. Xena XER works with the XER files. But I should also mention that Xena XER uses SQL Server to store its template information. You can, you can install SQL Server onto your local workstation it works with the free version of SQL Server or you can use one of the SQL Server instances out on your network. Xena XER is also a multi-user application. Xena XER is a, there's a 30-day evaluation copy of Xena XER and you can uh, get that 30-day evaluation by going out to the website Xena Utilities here are a few contact names and telephone numbers uh, that if you have any questions about Xena XER, just give us a call. Thank you for your time and have a great day.